Hi, good morning. I'm back here in Malaysia, Kuang, in my home, farm home, with monkeys running around on the rooftop. And I am glad to read a good um, feedback from the forum about the use of um, of the Red One Ninja in importing um, directly a new model database and with its data and creating its model right away in Idempium. And this from Doug and now I've been troubleshooting it and I managed to uh, make it work. As you can see um, the uh, zip code uh, already has pumped in uh, many thousands of records um I no count of it is six thousand five but um under the logs you can see it's gone uh, up to forty thousand but prior to that is about seven thousand and I count from the CSV file is about eighty two thousand so this CSV file is the free zip code of US I believe and this let me read so it's from here the federal government zip codes and he has a free zip code database CSV is about 10 or 11 megabyte in order to attach a big file you have to go to the system configurator and change the maximum upload size by adding a zero behind here putting a zero does not really work for no limit so putting this manage to attach it um, let me show you the attachment so the attachment is here by attaching it is about close to 10 megabyte above the 5 megabyte limit and it's still uploading so I just will wait for this to finish but basically it does work so that's it it's a short movie to show a proof of concept of the direct migration of any data into the system one thing you will note is that um, they are in is um, mostly string data type and if you want to change any to the number data type you may need to do a, uh, a pre-qualifier such as T hash to stand for long text and um, let me pull this down and Y stand for uh, checkbox, so it's text written file, and you have to change the values to no if it's false, change to n, and if it's true, change to the yes because you only accept one character into the um, database. So if you want numbers or amount, I believe you have to change it according to what I set in my earlier notes let me see if I got um, this hashing here if it's a quantity yes you have to put a Q in front a Q in front uh, but in this case is otherwise it be a string um, also to remind you that the first two uh, fields will be used in an update where statement okay in an update where statement if you want to wish to update and you want your data to be unique then ensure that the combination of the first two fields record number zip code is unique I believe this should be so record number on its own and so forth well then uh, it's still running hitting the 45,000 mark this is proof that it can really work I could not get a refresh I believe it's been held up but I'll leave it there and I'll update you in the uh, information of the forum or this movie, YouTube movie, under the uh, um, uh, remarks. Bye-bye.